thanks for staying with us. So, joining our conversation is a renowned international and Nigerian singer, saxophonist. He's an international award winning artist, recognized everywhere on the globe, mm -hmm. an Afrobeat pioneer Come with his on. father. He's the one and only, the, ex the executive, mm. Femi Anikulapo <laughs> Kote. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Good to have you on the show. Thank you. I don't want to introduce you as Felasso because we all know you are you are a brand new yeah, yeah, so we don't need to yeah, visit that. Yeah, 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 I'm not running away from that fight. I'm not. I can yeah. never deny my yeah. brother. Yeah. yeah. So good to have you on the show. Thank How are you doing? You. Oh, is this your program is too early for musicians. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. You went to bed late last night. No, our musicians always go back, go to bed late. <laughs> we go to bed to even wake up to see my children. Sometimes it's hectic. Uh, uh, okay, well, we go to bed late because we have to compose. Mm. The night is more peaceful to yeah. compose. But you look very well for somebody who went to bed late. You very look really fresh. well, fresh time. Yeah. Like coming right from the cool. Very uh, uh, correct. Easy, easy here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, we're, we're going to go into your interview a bit later. But first, yes. I want you to join this conversation. Yes. So before you came in, we we're talking about the fact that. When a woman is in a strange relationship with a, with a, with a, with a significant other and yes. there's a child involved, what um, should how should she raise that child? You know, some people raise the child with sowing seeds of hate, understandably, for based, based on what the man did. The man could have murdered her father. Or you know, there are so many things that the man would leave for. So there, there. So maybe he cheated, or maybe some many things. Or she sows love. Either way, the child grows up, yes. and then is now saying, "I am not interested." But family saying, "Ah, ah, ah this is your wedding deal." This man that that has not been involved, we have to go and bring him, yes. and he must be the one to hand you over to because you need that father's biological blood blessing. Abia. Mm. You need that link. Mm. If not, the marriage will collapse. That, that, that is. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, that's, that's so, that's so, that's so I want you, in your own view, as a yes. father yes. and as a Yoruba man, yes. please, hey. in this situation, what do you think should have been the right thing? I think um, whichever parent it is. You mustn't bring your child up to hate who your who the father or mother, mm. in respect of mm. who we are talking about. Yes. I brought up my son on his own, and, and he loves his mother. I think whatever happens between the marriage couples or partners should never spill over to the children, no matter what. I think it's very sad to. <coughs> involve the child so I have quite a I have about I have um, seven children and I'm not very friendly with all their mothers but I don't bring their children up to hate their mothers mm. they're their mothers there's nothing I can do about it and my partner right now has to understand that yes I'm the father but she must respect that the other children have their mothers and well, those children were raised by you but these other women they might have grown up to hate you don't you think I think, yes, they, she, they probably have done that, but I'll always do everything in my to try and reach out to the child. Mm. But it might be difficult for, it depends on how nasty that parent wants to be. Mm. So I think you blame the parent for being nasty and bringing the child, making the child get involved in whatever. Okay, the man cheated, so what? He didn't kill anybody now. Okay, you, okay the woman, and women too cheat. Don't let's, you know they always blame the men, but women too cheat. Mm. And so, because woman cheated, did she kill anybody? Mm. Things happen in this life. You see, when you, the older you get, you start to understand that things happen in mm. this life. And maturity must always come into mm. your sense of reasoning. Mm. And you must always think of the child. And if you grow up and let that your child be thinking that this world is just paradise, that child is going to have serious problems. See, before you too, come in, let me ask Femi one more question. Yes. In a situation where the man was never involved, one, well, he school, didn't pay one school fees. What he if, didn't, no, one what, buy no, one food. No, what if the woman did allow him to do it? What if she tried and what, she did not uh, And he decided not to. So, so what? What is school fees? If you manage and if God gave you the uh, the opportunity to leave the child, he's still the father of the child. Yeah. Let the child decide that I don't want to know you. But even the child will not even the child will still know him. Look, I, you see, I don't understand this. It's giving me a headache because I can't reason. I don't reason like that. You see, because I one of my children. You see, I don't like to talk about this on TV, but I don't. I hardly see one of my daughters. But doesn't mean um, 
I'm going to hate the mother for it or whatever. I see prayer, I will see her one day. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if she comes and says, my mother, I hate you because of my mother. That's wrong for you to I, I did bring my other children to hate their mothers. Mm -hmm. And as you have seen, my dear loves his mother like, mm -hmm. and okay today, my, his mother and I, we are like best of friends. Mm -hmm. You see, because things happen in this life, whether we like it or not, no. things will happen. And if you have a blessed marriage where you don't have, I don't even think there's any marriage in this life that has gone so smooth. They will have, I mean, the most, maybe maturity let them overcome their differences. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah. when you start to, I think when you start to fight and start acting unreasonable, you are being so childish, then you let it affect the children. This mm -hmm. is, those parents need psychiatric treatment. <laughs> okay. No, really. So when the child starts to hate well, either well, parent. Let me let you hear what you say. Okay, so uh, yes. there's this mentality because yes. why I like to attack culture is I want us to, one of the reasons why having all of these informed yes. conversations is for us to change the cultures that haven't served us. But there's this mentality in the air that I am a man. Even if my only job was to drop that seed and walk away, lavish oh. my life, spend everything I want to do with other people outside, my children will find me. There's that confidence that comes from you know, abandoning your child, feeling culture, feeling that your child, my children will look for me. They will always find me. How do we get um, that to stop so that people can now start having, um, making deliberate decisions on how to raise their children, being responsible, and knowing that if anything happens, you will bear the consequences of abandoning your children. I don't know that culture. Which culture is that? <laughs> There's this thing in the no, no, yes, you, you see, culture, my culture, Yoruba culture, it's not like that. So you I don't know, know what yeah. culture you are talking about. Well, well, so we are the fan, the man just thinks he can plant the seed and disappear. And disappear. No. Well, no. Through a wedding ceremony. No, okay. so I don't know that culture. I think that, you see, we have to understand African culture is not like this. And I, hmm. we have, we, because of colonization, we have, we have misrepresented culture because we are, we are, even the way, I'll give you a simple example. We all think in English. We all dream in English. Mm. Our communication is English. We abandon our way of life mm. and we have adapted, adapted the European West. style. Mm. And the European style has taught us to criticize our culture and tradition. Mm. And we have polluted it and, as we are saying, the man, it is Western people that abandon their children. Mm. I, I don't know any African culture that the man mm. abandons his child. I yes, the man is brought up to mm. be a man and the child must blah blah. Find but I, I am I can consider myself a very African man and the way I brought up my children, as you can see, I don't fight their mothers. I mm. mean we might not be very friendly, but the child I don't let the child get involved in mm. my aggro mm. with the mothers. Mm. 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 Let me go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll continue this conversation. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Welcome back. So we still have uh, Femi and Nicola Pokuti here with us. Um, still on this matter, I thought I wanted to bring in our own perspective. Yes, so um, our conversation behind the camera during the break has been very enlightening. And But back to the, the core topic that we're trying to resolve is that um, how, do we, how do we balance our emotions to the point where our children, we, we, don't, we don't, our conversation, our Anger with our part, with our partner, the pa partner right. does not mm -hmm. reflect the truth because I can't. I'm, I'm not in that situation, so I cannot give an effective any effective advice. But you've been through it, so in in practical ways, somebody is watching and is feeling like this person hurts me. Ah, you cannot see my child. Like like, or I, 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 it I just flows. Or why you even say it's hurting me? You don't put the child inside this matter. <laughs> That's between you. Assuming you are my wife, mm. and we have a child. Then for some reason we don't you see the beauty of that child. Mm. Why do you want to spoil the life? Why do you want to get the child involved in our Spoils. misery? Mm. You so want to give your child peace, love, and happiness. You, mm. The child must never be involved in it. Mm. it can't but there are some things that a man will do. For well, example, yeah, but it is a woman do. Do. Let's, let's say, oh, no, it's a man, a man. <laughs> so, for example, a woman, so a woman now, for so example, maybe one of your, a woman maybe cheats on you such that she sleeps with somebody that is your, your sibling, mm. or she, um, or you find or she, yes, yes, there are stupid possible. things, that things that are yes, totally out that of the world. That will hurt you, it will hurt you, you will go crazy. But you know you gave you a solution. You want to commit suicide, so it, does not, it does not concern, you see, the way I see it, my children, when I say I just see angels, I see love and everything. Mm. And it's my children that even let me 
that I can even see my partners or, or in the past and just say, hey, how are you? Are you okay? Or I'll answer them because some of them have really hurt me bad. But you've not told us the truth. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Because why? If, if your children, for example, yes. if you have allowed some of these your children yes. to go live with their, their yes. mother, they probably will hit come me. Exactly. Come, yes. no, come back. Doesn't go back I'm telling you the way me... I do my own. I okay. don't know about all that people. And I'm only telling you that the let me, best let me way put to do it is to let that scenario. Let me put a scenario. So you are with that child. Yes. And because in the in the interest of trying to raise her with love, maybe the weekends you allow her to go and meet her father or go yes. and meet her, her mother and comes back. And then the child is emotionally torn because there is that issue that there's the emotion of how do I handle my, my, my father with when a I'm new wife. Uh, and that, there's always that issue of loyalty. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's always that disconnect. So that's why a woman says, no, I'd rather you just stay with me and keep the man out of the situation. You can understand. Okay, my why... sister, um, Yeni, my older sister, she's on this program. She separated from her husband. But she never let her daughter hate her, yes, her father. Her father, she, her daughter used to go every two weeks, every month to spend time with her father. Mm. But she never Reason disallowed it. She was paying the school fees. She mm. brought, she brought, brought up her daughter. Mm. But mm. she never um, held it against him. She never, and when mm. he wanted to participate, she allowed him. Mm. And mm. and we had a very good friend there. I don't want to mention his name. Mm. And by the time the family spoke and all that we all just said look let this the mm. child must be and it was even from mm. her own mm. her experience okay. that let me draft yeah. my experience mm. fantastic oh, i think we can learn from that lady. let me take Imano. i'll take a few tweets Imano, are you there Imano, thanks for calling are you there you're live hello good morning you're live go ahead please Imano. Hello, good morning. Good morning. I greet everybody in the house. So my big brother, Auntie Morayo, and yes. all our sisters. Yes. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of your view. Um, yes, thank you. Yeah. My, a very nice topic, you guys. Very nice one. The one thing I want to say is that the way you cut somebody off, like uh, our brother there who is trying to, to say something, and Auntie Morayo, you just cut him off and say, let's go on a quick break. That he uh, can, can hold now. Let him say what he needs to say before we just go on a break. Thank you, so, Director so Emmanuel, <laughs> Producer Emmanuel. Thank you very much. The moment you start producing me, no problem. I'll listen to you. Go ahead, let's give it to you. Yeah, so, so I, I think um, um, we should learn from what he has said mm. because I grew up without my mom. Mm. My father raised me. Mm. And not for one day did he tell me what really transpired. Mm. He never mentioned her in a bad light. Okay. So I grew up with having a choice to get to know her for me. Mm. myself mm. and now infer from my relationships with her and my father who is better for me or mm. who is not better for, do you understand so i remember that when she came for the first time and um, i received her at the back of my mind i was asking myself should i go mm. should i go and find out who she really is mm. and my father allowed me say if you want to go for easter holiday fine go for easter holiday mm. go, go get to know her that's I fine grew it's up okay with my mother and you know what my father did to my mother Hmm. which is 27 wives. My mo we, as Fela's children, <laughs> protect his legacy because of my mother. Hmm. Because of the way she brought us. She could have brought us up to hate yes. with society, the society part hmm. of our country that hated Fela. She hmm. could have made us, because there were people that really hated Fela, yeah. the government and people like this, okay. she yeah. could have made us live in that direction, mm. brought up in that. She never did that. She mm. was always, when we even, when he was, he wasn't the conventional father. He did send me to school. I mm. did, I can't, stu I did study music. Mm. But we don't hold that against him. She made us always see Fela's essence, his mm. political views, his fights, his struggles, and we loved him for it. So we have grown up and we adore our father. Mm -hmm. So you see, you need, people need to take whatever their problem mm. You they have to be mature mm. in that. Mm. It's very difficult. I'm not going to dispute yeah, this fact. It's difficult because if that person is... It's very difficult. And I like... And, you know, it's the legacy. Mm. So you've seen it in your father, you saw it in your mm. sister, and you lived the same thing. Mm. And I think that everybody watching can also follow in that mm. line because we can see that um, there are always two sides to everybody. We we'll have the good and the bad. People on Twitter are loving you. Sensible <laughs> talk from Femi Kuti. That's from um, Ola Agro. Says, nothing can change a man or woman from being the father and mother of their child. But logical or is biological father and mother is not just a title, it's natural. Nothing should change that. Um, you know, I, like, while you're really looking for mm. that, I just I like the 27 wife 
thing because if you're a woman right now, you're complaining that the man went to go and cheat to one person. <laughs> or he went to go and my father money. just said father, to people, Go and I want to marry to yourself wife, come and join you, come and be 28. You can you imagine how angry my mother must have been? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what so, put yourself in the last <laughs> My mother that he brought from London, he married her in London, mm. brought her to Africa, and then he said, Say, I want to be an African man. Yeah. Uh, he, he, Ah, you don't know what my father did exactly. to my mother. Look, so, she, but she never let that anger. She was, mm. when we were even grown up as children, and we were like, mm. look, where is this man? Where is this man in our life? Say, mm. come, this is your father. Mm. Don't mm. ever let me hear you speak like this again. Mm. And slowly she molded us. Mm. And we just had to see Fela, the Fela that people were saying. Yeah. Fela, Fela could do no wrong after a while. To us, we just okay. love Fela because mm. our mother brought us up that way. I think that's, that's that show. love. I think that's the show. We need to that's, celebrate that's, your mother, that's though. That's the show, right there. Let's go on a break. I think we've got the got the. And they are going essence. to fight you again, or your director. I think we've got the essence. I only want to take a few tweets. I want to. We're going to go to your interview very shortly. Okay. But so, um, Ayotunde says it's a very delicate issue. It's always better to have the family together, but the children are innocent. You must find a way to make peace. Say hi to Femi from Omoya Dada. <laughs> I was there in his early life and I know what they went through. Yeah. Bilikis Mafe says, I grew up without my mother and because she didn't make the effort to be my life, despite all I did to reconnect with her, I placed the people who raised me as priority above her. Being a parent takes more than blood. Yeah. And, um, yeah, no, okay. Think, yeah. any, That's any it. Yeah. Okay. okay, so uh, I think generally we can wrap up this, this segment. I think Femi has just told us that you need is the molding. It's all about how you mold the child. If the mm. child now grows up to say, regardless of how much love you're giving to me, I still want to hate my mother. I still want to hate my father. It's not the adult. The it's the child. is yeah. an adult. But, really, but you, you as a so person, love, the person can't go into. So you, well, there are parents depends. that don't even want to know the children. They don't so care. You, mm. if, they, if, the, if the parents want to be bastard, bastardized, if the parents want to bastardize themselves, the child will already know that that parent is as bastardized mm. you or yeah. herself, and yeah. it will be so. Yeah. Move on. Yeah. Mm. Okay. On that note, we're going to break. When we come back, we'll focus on the new project Femi and Nicola Bokuti is working on. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So we still have with us Femi and Nicola Bokuti. And I'd like to, uh, my first question to you is um, Afrobeat. Yes. It's been obviously celebrated and appreciated internationally. Yes. Locally, we don't have much of appreciation for it. It's almost like a selected few people are, are still in that business of Afrobeat. In your view, um, is, what, are these new times for Afrobeats in the world, or do you think we still need to do more so that it doesn't go extinct, especially within Africa? I don't think it will ever go extinct because um, the greatest musicians in the world are always tapping out of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even our uh, musicians today or artists today tap out of it. So it will always be there. Like jazz will always be there. Classical music will always be there. Mm. So it will never go ex extinct. I think um, what the problem I see is that we don't really have an industry, even with Nollywood. And that's because the government has never taken art as seriously as it should. Right. Mm. But then the government didn't take medicine seriously. Oh, that's <laughs> why we are, yeah. we are in the predicament we are in today. Mm. Imagine... We have so many young, talented artists, that, but they can't play musical instruments. How can you say you're a musician and you don't know anything about any musical instrument? Mm. So that industry, in a few years' time, will collapse if care is not taken. So we really need to, um, if things are not done properly, it's, I always like to give this example. A nurse can never become a doctor. Mm. Neither can a doctor become a surgeon. So very soon, if we are not careful, the chemists, the pharmacy, will start to operate on us. Mm. And that is what's happening in the music mm. business. Mm. You see, I will, for instance, I can read, but I cannot read like Madi. A piece that Madi will read because he went to school and mm. studied music properly, he will read it in like five minutes. Mm. It might take me five days to play that wow. piece mm. because he has schooled, he knows the technique, his mind, all the senses are working. Mm. Me, I'll be doing. Uh, because I taught myself. Mm. So mm. that education is very important for, and if we don't teach our children properly how to do mm. this profession, mm. they will just come and go and they will just die by the wayside. So, so Afrobeat will always be there because, why Afrobeat will always be there is because the creator, Fela, mm. was, is a comprehensive, he gifted musician. 
So any musician that listens to him will just say, wow, this man was gifted. Mm. He, he can't peace. die. Classic For peace. that, he can never die. Okay. okay. Right. So I, I see, I, I get what you mean. I'm looking, I, I like your perspective of looking deep into the, into the story, or into where the problem came from. But we have Grammy nominations from Burner Boy. And for me, we know for a fact, if you hear Burner Boy's sound, you would hear Afrobeat. You would yes. hear the ethos of what Fela um, stood for. And how does that make you feel to see it being recognized? You've gotten Grammy nomination, a, a song that embodies your value, gets a Grammy nomination. What, does that, what would you say to that? And those that are thinking, I don't want to do Afrobeat. I want to do whatever is making money. I don't think it's only Burner Boy taking out of Fela. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> I think 90% of our artists here take out of Fela. Let me, there's one beat. <laughs> That's Fela's beat. What they did was they just took the snare drum of mm. Fela's do do ka 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 do do ka ka ka. So, so they take, they just take because they are sampling. They just mm. take. But if you or that, if you know the Afro beat, you can see where somebody has taken out of Fela or mm. not. They don't just take the <clears throat> lyrics. The Afro beats is mm. that's the creation thing. of Fela. Of Fela. Hmm. And that's why they now call it Afrobeats because they needed the name. But really, it is really more like hip hop, blah blah style of music. Hmm. To play the Afrobeat, when you go into Fela's creation, Fela, the harmony, the way he harmonized, the way he conducted the rhythms, hmm. you have to really have studied and be, you must be gifted by God to have that talent hmm. to, you must to be a put God. all this. <laughs> no, and not again. I don't, you see, when you bring this topic up, sometimes it's as if I will. Um, be criticizing, but you see, we have to be truthful sometimes. Many of the artists you have is if you you can take any singer and put into any of these songs and not mm -hmm. know because the rhythms is As still the same. They are yes, monotonous. Yes, yes. Mm. When Fela is composing, <coughs> Fela is not monotonous. Yeah. Maybe one thing might be the same: the percussions or koloji, koloji or koloji, koloji, the, the percussions, but everything or the shaker will go. But even that it changes. But then when you listen to the bass line or when the horns come in. It it's changes. Mm, yeah. So okay. there's a mood for every pattern He's of the music. <laughs> He's right. talking music. As like jazz as mm, well. Yeah. Mm. So um, I, I understand that, um, you know, some people grow up and feel, okay, I'm talented in this. And because of that, probably they do not have the opportunity to study it properly. Yes. They just feel, mm, I can just walk into the studio and do something and it comes out. Yes. Now, uh, that takes away that, um, um, is it like prestige yes. of that industry when you just feel anybody can walk in and just do something and come out. Mm -hmm. Now, how do we start regaining? See, everything is all about education and yes. how people can start doing things better. How do we start regaining the prestige of that From music? From school. Okay. From mm. school, you have to start teaching, which I do know a lot of schools are teaching music now. Okay. But it's from school. If you don't, if you don't, you see, a lot of people, even when you watch, a lot of people try to study music. When they see the difficulty in music, hard, they though. run away from it. Mm. Everybody just wants the razzmatazz at the top. Yeah. The mm. gege, mm. fame, money. The icing. But that is not, music is as serious as medicine. Mm. So, mm. and when you mm. meet any serious musician, you will see that person is cool. Mm. Because you are studying, you you never stop practicing. I still do six hours of practice daily, wow. every day. I want wow. to I want to go into your combo with Maddie. Yes. I mean I thought it was I mean I thought it was spectacular. Yes. To see you and your he's son a, coming he's together. A, he's a very gifted person. More so gifted so than tell me. us about this combo. So it's supposed to um, <laughs> um, um, launch in February, I believe. Yes, February, February twenty first. His single. He has two singles out. Right. And I have um, my first single is out now. Ah, ba, 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 yes, we gotta hear that. We gotta yes. we're gonna hear that. Well, at the end of the show, but tell us about <laughs> you are going to dance seeing, on the <laughs> tell us how seeing your son grooming your son mm. to yes. this. I mean, you are see, you, you you took from your father, yes. and now you are giving back to your son. Yes. That must that, that, that must be the greatest feeling mm -hmm. on earth. We know that, that what no, you got, you are no, still you are still passing no on, and he's doing it at a higher level. Yeah. There is no greater feeling. There is no feeling when mm. your child tells you I love you and your. I, it's, I don't see any feeling. Mm. That's why. That's why. Like I, the other topic, how you don't bring your children. You just want your child to have love and beautiful things in this mm. life. Mm. You don't bring stress on your child because they will have their stress. So mm. the way I see Madia as well is, I just saw this beautiful. I knew he was gifted by God. I knew he had the talent. Was now to train him and give him because my father didn't do all that. Mm. And I quickly, like, yes, Fela was great, but Fela did have faults. And one of the faults was he did not let me, mm. he should have made sure. But Fela wanted to use me as an experiment. Mm. Oh. So his, his excuse was that 
I will be successful without, without going to education. school. Mm. Without education. And his brother, my mother, everybody just freaked out that, no, when I became successful, it was, didn't I tell you? <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, as me interviews. that went through that experiment, I know it was very yeah, risky. Difficult. Let me play this song yes. that will us so much. I want to discuss it. So, talking about Afrobeat, yes. she practically took from, Kelly practically took from Fela's oil The chorus. majority of the best of the best musicians take from Fela and have taken from Fela. Look, the great Miles Davis mm -hmm. admired Fela. The Beatles, James Brown, mm. um, okay, today, Beyonce, mm. um, Jay-Z, yeah. um, come on. There's none of, none of Wyatt, Wyatt Clef. There's nobody that has not taken from Fela. Mm. Because this is, this is he was, Fela was a body, Fela, was, Fela is an institution himself. Mm. Fela, Fela's music should be in university. Mm. Fela's music is studied all over the world, yeah. except here, yeah, except right here. So, that, mm. that brings me to a question I want to ask you, because it, it seems like our government isn't seeing, like... Our government does not see a lot of things. So, 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 <laughs> exactly so, now. So, 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 we could get private sector involved, but I, I know we have very little time left with you. There's something I've always admired about YK, yes. and I, say, I tell her all the time, yes. the parenting, the ability to live in... You know, people will see the fella or the Kuti family yes. from outside and think that, oh, these people, um, they cannot have good mm. values. And I have been close you to you. Close? I've met Made, I've met all your children, well-mannered. How do you people do you it? You don't even drink, do you? you no, mean, I, like, I, I, I used to smoke, but I never drank. I, I, so I stopped smoking ages ago now. And um, Made doesn't drink, YK doesn't drink. Made, YK, uh, YK yes. drinks no, champagne. No, champagne. No, no, YK, 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 she no. likes, YK Please, does like, no, no, <laughs> uh, I say, no, YK doesn't smoke, but no, she no, drinks, she, she celebrates no. with champagne. She ah, YK, champagne. no, she even tries to get me to drink champagne, no. <laughs> but I think that is, you know, Fela lost everything at one point in time. When his house was burned, Fela was dead broke. And by the time Fela died, we, because we, were part of the story. So when we, to build the shrine, to build our home, we take every, we don't take anything for granted because mm. we know how de um, delicate this life is. Mm. Again, this is again from my mother. I'm, 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 we had a very good mother. Nobody knows my mother. Mm. So she was always at the background, background and her whole business was, she loved her children and she does give us, she showered us with love. Mm. So Fela was, very outside. Fela was the way he brought me to very for outside everybody. man. Fela for everybody. He was for everybody and for nobody. Because <laughs> <laughs> ah. yeah, I've always marveled. Yes. If I had a father that was wearing underwear up and down, I don't in even his know. House. In his but house. In his house, yes. In I, mean, his I, house. I just, I mean, I would have been traumatic. No, but you, you might be shocked at first, but then you just get used to it. You get you. Fela just made everybody get used to everything around him, and then it. He just normalized everything. Please, it brings me to tolerance. One of the things I notice about um, when I'm in the shrine yes. is how Madi would relate to the person that you think this guy is tipsy, is drunk, and the ones you see as very educated and well yes. suited. And there's this air of tolerance around the African shrine. Yes. You, he welcomes the white and the black and the rich yes. and the poor. How do we preach that level of tolerance across the, across the nation to the extent that we can begin to synergize our country? We study, I, I brought Madi up to study virtues. And in, when you go to Egyptian times, you know that Africans, if you wanted to come out as an engineer or whatever, whatever profession, you had to study virtues, tolerance, patience, and all these things, mm -hmm. how to control your temper. So, Madi, I always emphasize that he had to study these things, understand what these things mean, and practice them in life, which mm -hmm. I do practice as well <laughs> in my life. So, sometimes people expect to see one very wild for me, or <laughs> Femi that is very mm. uh, snobbish. Mm. A lot of people think I'm snobbish, but I'm a very deep thinker because I, I'm very, I worry a lot as well. Mm. So when they see me taking deep, you think I'm snobby, you or, but I'm more like, I have 10 children, so I'm thinking of school fees. You might <laughs> 10 meet children? Me. I adopted That's children. That's my seven now. Yeah, 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 no, I adopted them now. Yeah. No, the first batch were <laughs> Maddie and his friends. Yes. There were five of them. The girl got married, so okay. she moved out. So, but the three boys, two of them are now married. There's one left with me. So okay. I adopted them. I brought them up. They were like six, wow. and I brought them up. 
So, mm -hmm. but then somebody said to me that, what if Made dies? And that was like a coup that, ah, if Made dies, okay. So then I thought that the Afri Anukula Pokuti, everybody was just having girls, no mm. boys. So if this set dies, okay. this Ransom Kuti dies, yes. there's no Ransom Kuti again, okay. according to culture, okay. since the girls can't carry <laughs> okay. Kuti. Okay. So I just said, ah, I better start having children. So I just said to have children. So, I have, so do you have new boys now? I have two, three and boys now. Three boys. And three girls. <laughs> three girls, that's six. Four girls. I have three boys and four girls. <laughs> three girls and four, that's seven. Yes. So it's still seven. Yes, but she had adopted Biological. two. Biological but, seven. No, I adopted but three. But still counting. Uh, three. No, and still one, counts. you see, it's very confusing. I adopted four, but one has gone. Okay. So one has married. Three. Okay. The, the Girl got married. So, how many so, biological are learning by seven? seven but seven he's raising his school fees. He's okay. still responsible for no, ten. No, I'm not paying ten school fees anymore. Nine. I'm paying, Nine. I'm paying no, seven, six. <laughs> <laughs> You see, this is what I'm thinking about. <laughs> Somebody will meet me, and I'm thinking my life that my life is so. <laughs> Are you going to have more children? No, for what? I will cut it off. Somebody come out. Well, you have the cutest daughter, 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 though. You have the cutest daughter. daughter. I was able to tell you, YK, the other day that ah, if I had no lay money. Can you imagine how peaceful my life will be? <laughs> Since I was saying, you see the bills you bring on to us. I said, but the children are so beautiful. Yeah. And one day we are going to live this life. Yeah. Who's going to take over the shrine? Who's going to take over all these things? Yeah. So we need children. So let me ask you, yes. what, what hope do you have for the Nigerian music industry? At some point, do you, do you see the light at the we end? We must always time? have hope. Mm. I, as much as I criticize Nigeria, we must never lose hope. Mm. We must still remain focused that. Because people talk of war, people want disunity. They are not thinking deep, because if this place erupts, everybody's going to be in trouble. Affected, yeah. True. And if that the first gunshot, look, as we saw from that protest, if anything goes, look, everybody's going to suffer. Mm. And we, where are we going to run to Ghana? Oh, yeah. Where are we going to go? So our energy must be directed, redirected into focusing on the future of this country. So, so we have to wrap up, and I, I yes. really wanted to talk about this year music because that's what this whole thing is about. Yes. Uh, but before I, uh, Anthony Joshua came to the train, yes, yes. and he's going to be fighting next weekend. Do you guys still look up? Do you still talk to him? Of and course, you I encourage talk to him, him for next weekend's fight. I will send him a message. <laughs> you know, uh, don't forget, uh, I'm quite uh, much older than most of yeah, everybody, so yes. I must always be like a father. Yes, yes. You know, I'm, I'm not somebody that superimposes myself yeah, or anybody. If yeah. you come and meet me, I will answer you. If you okay. don't come and meet so, me, your music. Your, it's your single is out. Yes. Maddie Zone is coming up in February. No, yes. Maddie has two Maddie singles, singles out there. Your enemy album. and Free Your Mind. Right. So yes. it's the album that's coming up in February. 5th of February. Yeah. February. Okay, so no. we're going to be listening to, I think, Bak 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 right now. That's my own now. Bak Bak Bak. Tell us about Bak Bak Bak. Bak 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 is, Bak 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 is, listen to it, it's very straightforward. And we are saying that if you cannot get that job done, get out of there. That's it. So thank you for talking about taking us that because mm -hmm. everybody is asking for the service chiefs to be sacked based mm -hmm. on what happened for the three farmers that were killed. I'm saying it's, it's, maybe it's time for them to even impeach the presidency. I mean, the northern elders have come together yeah. and say, you know what, Uncle, maybe you should resign. In your view, especially with the protests that's happened, and we are saying if we list a, a single, pa, 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 what's your message to Nigerians today? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> My message will have been to the government. I, I think Nigeria, as we all know what we want. We want a good life. We are tired of, we are fed up. We are fed up of everything going on. And we are fed up of the news. We are fed up of every day something bad is happening. Mm. You don't wake up. I mean, the traffic is, there is nothing we can be happy about right now in this country. So we are fed up. Mm -hmm. So, the like I said, pack, 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 they should get out of, if they can, you can get out of there. Why, look, why does it take the president, why does the president not talk to his people? He talks to us and through garbage. Yeah, 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 yeah. At least we have oh, garbage. We have Is that what people voted for him? Oh. People like us were against him. Mm. First, because somebody like me, he was, not just because of what he did to my father. He was he's too old. Mm. Do you know I am I already know I'm old. 58. Some people tell me I'm not old, but I know I'm old. Biden is I, older. They say Biden is older. What is our business with America? Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, they, they, like, they should put their, they should wake up dead and yeah, put it there. You see, it's because team. we keep thinking about America and Europe. We forget about ourselves. You see, you know our people say is clean the cockroach inside your eye before another person. We have not cleaned our own. So we are cleaning America. America. They have to run. Unfortunately, that's all we can take. Thank you very much. It's always a pleasure Bye -bye. having you on the show. <laughs> Tell my sister Hello. <laughs> my sister Hello. 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 Hello.